guys today we are trying to um, wash Garen's hair because um, he's been in twist for some time so we've just taken it out you can see how much his hair has grown um, getting this ready for shampoo requires a lot of attention so first you detangle the hair so you can see I've detangled this particular um, section and then what I do is, here we have hair mayonnaise. It could be anything, don't worry about the brand. And this is it, we brought it out here. So what I do is I base his hair with the conditioner first. Okay, so I'm constantly receiving messages about how they can care for their children's hair all natural hair this is one of the things we specialize in working with natural hair so these messages continuously come and you've seen Garen's hair from when he was really young and when the hair was really short we actually did cut it completely all out and then we started training it and all we've been doing is just two strand twist that's all nothing else you can see what has happened over time. So, why am I pulling conditioner first? Is to soften the hair and get it ready for shampoo. Because what happens when you shampoo hair, you basically wash out the natural oil. Apart from the dead that you're washing out, you're also washing out the natural oil. And this is why um, natural hair gets really dry after shampooing. So what I then do is do the reverse. So I condition it first before I shampoo. So I'm basically washing two at the same time. So I'm washing out the dirt and well maintaining some oil in the hair. And after that's done, that's when I can now put normal um, hair moisturizer in and that stays in to get the hair back to normal so that's what I've done with this three strands three sections and this is the one I'm doing right now so make sure you really get it in that it really saturates the section Take your time to detangle it while you're putting it in. And once that's done, make it nicely rolling like I've done with the other ones. Then I'm going to just dip it in place. And of course, that's our young, young handsome prince with his head full of hair. And so, we're going to go on to the next turn now. So first you detangle the hair, which um, I've done when I'm losing the hair to get out. But now I'm ready to treat it. I have to make sure that it's not clumped together. So I start by detangling them. And then once I've done, I comb it through with a big comb. Again, always start from the tip, always start from the tip. It's a big thing I talk about in training. You can't do it any better than that. From the tip, takes away the tangle slowly, 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 slowly. So you take out whatever hair that's come out of it. And Garen says it's really good, not much comes out. Other hair is a lot comes out, including my hair. Anyway, so
Okay, so we've finished manipulating it and now we we'll finish combing it through. And when we say combing, it's just basic combing because lots of people have this habit of expecting that Afro hair should be straight, bone straight. No, that's not the way our hair is made. It shouldn't be bone straight and that's why all you're doing is detangling. It's not meant to make it bone straight. So that's the big mistake we've been making all these years. And I did a video recently on Instagram showing how when you're caring for Afro hair, you put just water to allow the natural curls set themselves normally before you put your, um, your normal moisturizers. And the question I'm getting is why is she applying water to that hair? I just see lots of ignorance times like this. Why is that ignorant? Because you're stuck in your way of thinking Afro hair should be treated. It's not something somebody else has to come and tell you for you to know how to handle your hair. And when I did hairdressing, it was one of the problems I had to deal with the teachers. Because they don't understand natural hair, they don't wear it, and then they want to teach you what to do. So if you want to stay ignorant and not learn, that's fine. But trust me, these are things I've done over the years, and it's given me this result. So I must be doing something right. So do not comb the Afro hair bone straight. Don't, don't use dryers or heat, whatever, heaters, dryers, tongs, whatever. Any heat on afro hair is not healthy for afro hair. It dries it out. Afro hair needs to be soft and moisturized for it to be healthy and nice. So, that's a little history and lesson. But here we are, trying to make sure this hair is nicely moisturized and I thought I should share this with you so here we go we've done that and once we're done we're going to shampoo this hair and the rest we've shown in so many videos so see you in the next video and thank you for watching stay blessed don't forget to like share subscribe and comment